Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing what I do every morning to get ready for school. I thought since school is about to start for most people, I would do a back to school tutorial on what I do to get ready for school. So if you want to see what I do to get ready for school, keep watching. Alright, so this is my bare face. There's absolutely nothing on my face right now. If you can see, I'm sure you can see, but there's a lot of red spots on my face. So I'm just going to go in with a color correcting primer to cover the redness. And so I'm using a Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer and it's color correcting. And the packaging looks like this. So I'm just going to put a little, if it'll come out, I've used this a lot, Oop, a little bit on my finger. And then I'm going to transfer it to the other finger, and I'm just going to rub it in. Now that the primer is done, we're going to move on to face. I'm going to use a BB cream instead of a full foundation because I know for school days, most days I'm not awake, and I don't like putting on a lot of makeup, so I'm going to use the Dream Cure BB 8-in-1 Beauty Bomb Skin Clearing Perfector from Maybelline, and it looks like this. How I like to do it is I just squirt a little bit on my hand, and then I grab my damp beauty blender, but I dab a little bit on it, and then I start dabbing the product on my skin, and it's very important that you don't uh, use swiping motions because then it'll make your makeup look streaky as long as you just dab it on there it'll make it look more flawless and not not streaky so I just do this until my entire face is covered so I go in with a concealer next to under my eyes to make sure I look alive and also I use it for any blemishes or any redness that's occurring so I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline fit me concealer and it looks like this so I just put it on any spots that need to be covered which at the moment I have a lot of those and then I go under my actual eye with it so I put it under here and then I go down and then I just go in with my beauty blender and blend, blend it out. And then under the eyes, I like to turn my beauty blender over instead of using the flat side of it. I like to turn my beauty blender over to the pointed side and use it under the eyes. I just find that when I use the pointed side of the beauty blender rather than this side, it just makes the concealer look more blended in and less cakey. I'm going to move on to powder. I'm going to set my under eyes with my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Powder, and it looks like this. I've had this powder forever since I was in middle school, and it's still going strong, and I love it. It's a really good powder. I'm just going to set my under eyes with this and I'm using an elf brush. It's actually um, a face brush from elf, but you know. And I just put the powder underneath my eyes to brighten things up a bit and to make sure my concealer doesn't crease. I also put it on any parts that I put concealer to make sure it really stays there. And once I'm done with that, I move on to another powder. I move on to another powder because my skin is very oily, so I have to use a different powder. And I use the Revlon Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in Translucent, and it looks like this. And I just put this in the areas that I find that my skin gets oily quicker, which is my T-zone. And I'm just using an, uh, Real Techniques powder brush and I put this in my t-zone definitely my forehead I think gets the most shine throughout the day 
and I kind of move it over a little bit because right here on me as well kind of gets a little oily so I just like to put it there also on school days I don't like to do too much so I just go in with a little bit of bronzer and I use the bronze booster from positions formula it looks like this and I have mine in the shade medium to dark so then I just take this and I use a eco tools blending and bronzing brush it looks like this and I just swirl it around in the product tap off the app <laughs> tap off the excess and just go in a little bit and bronze up my face just to give it a little more life. And once I'm done with that, I move on to highlighter. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Radiant Lights and it looks like this. So I just take this on a e.l.f. brush and I swirl it around top off the excess and just put it on the chic bones. Next after I finish my highlight I move on to brows and I'm actually going to do that off camera so I will see you in a second. Okay now my brows are done and my brow pencil is a little bit warmer than my actual eyebrow hair. So if you can see that on camera I'm very sorry. I tried to go in with a light hand, but anyway, now we'll move on to the next thing I usually do is just mascara. So I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. It looks like this. So I apply it to my top lashes and bottom lashes. Please excuse my mascara faces. They are pretty great and I'm sorry about them so so once I get my mascara on that's about all I do so that completes this video thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful I know the lighting in here is awful and so you probably can't actually see anything I did which is very frustrating so I'm very sorry about that I'm working on it so thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time bye